Hello guys, Josh here, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part number two of building the ultimate gaming room. In part number one, we installed the new desk in the main setup. Today, we have got this box behind me, which as you can see is pretty big. We've got a new desk for the second setup. So about a month ago, we built the new PC, but I kind of just placed it all on top of an old Ikea desk I had. But yeah, this one's gonna be awesome. It's 1.6 meters across by 80 centimeters deep. So it's got a bit of extra depth to it compared to uh, most desks. So yeah, we're gonna be unboxing this today, getting it built, let's get started. So the desk I went for guys is the IKEA Thigh desk. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out. But yeah, it's available in white with silver legs. And like I said a minute ago, it's a bit of a deeper desk than most at 80 centimeters, which will be nice because I'm not gonna be wall mounting the monitor, it's just gonna be on the desk. So it'll be nice to have that extra bit of depth. So we've got two boxes here. This one is the tabletop and like the metal underframe. And then this one is probably gonna be the legs. So we'll open up this one first. There we go, it's open. So these are the legs. They almost kind of go out at a bit of an angle when you attach them. You can kind of see they kind of go like that. Uh, they are height adjustable as well, which is good. So you can kind of set it which height you want. I've just noticed as well, I think the metal underframe is actually in this box. So it has like a, I guess like a metal piece that runs across the underneath of the whole desk to make sure that it doesn't sag under the weight, which is really good. So yeah, I'll get this stuff kind of taken out of the plastic and then we can unbox the tabletop. Right, time for the tabletop then. So here's the tabletop guys, all unboxed. The other side is where we're gonna screw in the frame and the legs, and this is the actual work surface. So it's a very decent size, 1.6 meters across, 80 centimeters deep, and it should pretty much perfectly fill this kind of alcove space over here. So yeah, it should be good. Now I had a quick look at the instructions and they recommend actually building the frame first and using a table to help you do it because then you can more easily attach the legs. So what I'll do is move this out of the way, go grab a table and then we can start building the frame. It's desk building time. IKEA Thigh instructions, here's what you do. You don't smash it into tiny pieces on your own. Instead, you use a friend to help you do that. Then you make sure you've got all your parts. After that, you build the frame using a rug to help you, which we're not gonna do because I can't be bothered and I don't have a rug. Then on the next page, we attach the legs using a table to help us, which I'm gonna do because that will be useful. And then finally, we flip it all over, attach the tabletop, and we are done. Easy, let's build a desk. The construction has started. We're just building the metal frame, so we basically just put these bits on the table, slot them into here, and then fix them down with these little screws. Step one complete. Well, actually steps one, two, and three, technically. But anyway, let's move on to the next bit. So next, we have to attach the legs. So I'm kind of going to dangle this over the edges. Dangle this over the edges, and then we can stick the legs on. Imagine if this was money. I'm not an expert on history, but I'm pretty sure people used to carry around coins exactly like this. But anyway, these are the washers that need to sit on top of here so that we can attach the legs. Right, step two of the IKEA desk tutorial, guys. Grab your leg like this. It looks a bit like a lightsaber because it's extendable. And then pop it under here like this so it hooks in. Grab one of those coins like what your grandparents used to carry. Stick that on there. And then just grab your massive bolt, stick it in, screw it in, and it's all done. I mean, how easy does it get? It doesn't get any easier than that, does it? Right, so far so good. So we've got the metal frame assembled and the legs. So what we need to do next is put the tabletop on top of that. So we'll get rid of this table and then I'll flip this upside down and then we can get it bolted on. So we're basically done now guys, just on the last step, I've got the tabletop on the floor. We're just gonna flip this onto it and then tap in the included bolts and we're pretty much done. So to finish off, all we do is just grab one of these little things, pop it in the hole like that and make sure it's pressed in. And then you grab one of these pegs, pop that in there and then just give it a little tap with a hammer and it is secure. So yeah, kind of an interesting mechanism of fixing it. We'll do the rest of them. All done. So we just need to flip up the table now so that we can get it into position and then we can start putting all of our stuff back on it. All in position now, guys. So I've kind of put it over in this corner and we've got an extra little bit of space over that side. 
I've left it the same height as it was as well. We can adjust the legs if we want to, but I think until I try it with a chair, we'll just leave it as it is at the moment. But yeah, for the price, I mean, I paid, what, 80 pounds for this here in the UK? And really good build quality, nice and sturdy. And it's a decent sized work surface as well. Pretty easy to build. In fact, very easy to build. So we're gonna start putting the stuff back on it now. I've got to get the PC on here, the monitor. And even when we've got that stuff on, we still should have a decent amount of space to play with to kind of put other stuff on it. So yeah, let's do it. So it's actually been about a week or two since the last part of the video I recorded. You can probably tell because I've had a haircut since then. But yeah, the setup is all done now, looking absolutely amazing. And I've done loads to it, done loads of cable management and got lots to show you guys. So let me grab the camera and we'll uh, take a look. So here it is guys, the new setup. Let me give you a little bit of a tour. We'll talk about the stuff on the desk first. So um, obviously the desk, it was the IKEA Thigh desk as I built in this video. Uh, we've got the PC over here. This is the new kind of budget build we did for about $1,000. Uh, we've got the Deepcool 510 case, which is a pretty good looking case. It's the McCube. Um, we've got the new fans from Deepcool. These are the uh, MF120 GTs. They look kind of quirky. I did a review on them recently if you want to go check that out. We've got the Deepcool Castle 360 EX. We've got G-Skill uh, Trident Z RAM. And uh, yeah, 5600 XT for the graphics card and a Ryzen 5 3600. So, you know, it's a pretty good system. It can play most stuff. I'm not actually 100% sure yet, guys, if I'm gonna start using this as the gaming kind of setup and move the ultra wide across from the other setup to this and upgrade the graphics card. I'm not really sure yet, so I've got to decide on that. But yeah, let's carry on with the tour. We've got Mr. Iron Man just chilling over here. This is a Hot Toys Iron Man. It's a star boost. I got him a while ago, but he's pretty cool. Uh, over here we've got the monitor, this is the ViewSonic XG270, it's a 240Hz monitor, 1080p, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good for like Rocket League and any competitive games like that, because the refresh rate definitely makes a difference. Now for the mouse and keyboard, I actually went for the Logitech MX Master Series, I actually got sent these recently by Logitech, and uh, I did an unboxing, but I still need to review them, so that will be uploaded soon. But I didn't really want to drill a hole in this desk because I didn't want to have a mouse mat. I think it just looks really cool and kind of sleek with just the keyboard and mouse on the white desk. Kind of black on white or grey on white. But yeah, this is the Logitech MX Master 3. Really cool mouse actually. It feels so good to use. We've got the Logitech uh, MX keys here. The cool thing is about this, watch this guys. If I wave my hand over it, you'll see all the lights come on because it's got like proximity sensors in, which is awesome. Uh, over on the left here, we've got a ring light, so uh, that's sat on top of like a Manfrotto tripod magic arm thing. So if I ever want to stick my camera on here and do videos, I can do, which is cool. Now you guys might be wondering, Josh, why have you only got one speaker? That's a little bit weird, isn't it? And uh, yeah, let me explain. So over here at the bottom, you can see I've got an audio interface. Uh, if you didn't already know, I play the guitar, so I can actually plug into this and then I can open up my software on the PC, have like cool effects and stuff, and play it through speakers. Uh, the only problem is, is that you need studio monitors. Now the difference between monitors and speakers is that these reproduce sound pretty much perfectly. Normal speakers add bass and other stuff and they have like uh, latency or a bit of lag. Whereas this just connects straight to that. So I can play my guitar through there and uh, it's just kind of fun. Now the reason I only went for one speaker is because I kind of wanted to have the PC at an angle like this because when you come into my room, if it was kind of just straight, you wouldn't really be able to see the internals or anything. So I thought that looked cool and uh, there was only enough space for one. However, actually looking at it, I think the whole kind of asymmetrical style of the setup actually kind of works. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. To be fair, we could always straighten the PC up and add another speaker to the right. I think it would fit. But um, yeah, I only really need one to be honest. It works perfectly fine. We've got the Xbox controller over here and of course we've got LED strips. Now, uh, interesting thing about these LED strips guys, these are from Govi. They sent them out recently for me to uh, test, but they're the brand new ones. So although I've just got them set to white at the moment, what you can actually do is do like rainbow waves, and you can set each part of the strip to the color you want. So I could have this side of the desk like pink, the back blue, and this side like orange. They're so cool, and I think it's the first time a kit like this has been offered with an app and everything at this price point. So I'll be doing a review on these next week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see that. We'll talk more about the cable management now then. So we've got the Nano Leafs over here. 
These actually run into trunking, you can see here, nice and neatly. They run along there, up the wall, and then up to there so that they can kind of plug into everything. And as you can see, guys, even if you bend down, you can't see any cables at all, which is sick. So it's only until I go down to here, which you'll be like, oh yeah, those are the cables. But yeah, I think I've done a pretty good job of the cable management. Uh, the only cable you can see in the entire setup is from the LifeX Beam. We can't really do anything about that. But um, I was going to use trunking, but I reckon the trunking will be more noticeable than just having a wire. So I think I'm going to leave it. Now, the other cool thing I did, guys, is I actually ran an Ethernet cable all the way from this PC, right? Underneath the desk, into that trunking, down here, along the skirting, all the way around there to the other side of the room where my hub is and plugged it straight into there. So this setup actually has wired internet, which is awesome. There's a little bit of work to kind of do all the trunking, but yeah, totally worth it. And then finally, just up here, we've got this cool little poster thing, which I got a while ago, just to kind of add a little bit of character, you know. Um, other stuff I'm gonna do to the setup, I may possibly put a little shelf here to be able to put like some cool action figures on or game figures or whatever. Uh, but yeah, not too sure about that. I nearly forgot to show you underneath the desk, guys. This is uh, the bottom of the desk. So you can see here we've got the power strip, which is just kind of glued to the desk. And then everything's plugged into it. We've got quite a lot of like power bricks and stuff from the Nano Leafs and LifeX and monitor and everything. But yeah, it's all stuck up there nicely. We've got some trunking as well, which I'll leave a link in the description to because it's really good. You can kind of enter into it at different points, as you can see there and there's loads of space in, in it. So if you guys need some good trunking, go check the link in the description because uh, then you can make your setup look like this. By the way, if you wanna buy anything guys that's in this setup or any of the Nano Leafs, I'll have all the links down in the description below. So go check them out there if you want to. With that being said guys, hope you all enjoyed the video today. If you did, a like rating would be appreciated. You can also follow me on Instagram as well if you want to. This is where I kinda of do all the behind the scenes stuff. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more. We've got loads more content coming soon. Going to be doing the whole room tour. We've got LED strip reviews coming, headsets, microphones, all that good stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. And uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.